refuting animals are not the best use of testing for scientific needs. My proposition is animal testing is vital for scientific research. The definition of animal testing is involves doing scientific tests on animals and developing new products or drugs. And that is from the Collins English Dictionary. My main points will be why animals are vital for scientific research and what positive things animal testing has contributed to. Um, so I'll start off with why animals are vital for, for scientific research. Um, they're used as models to study disease. Humans and animals are shared, shared, shared hundreds of illnesses and consequently animals can act as models for the study of human illnesses. Um, to develop and test potential forms of treatment. Once researchers learn more about a particular disease, animals are used to develop and test these potential therapies as a part of applied research process. To protect the safety of people, animals, and the environment, new medicines are required testing because researchers are, must measure both the beneficial and the harmful effects of a compound on a whole organism. And that information is from the animalresearch.info. <laughs> the information for my second point is from Procon.org. What positive things have, has animal testing contributed to? Animal testing has contributed to many life-saving cures and treatments. The California Biomedical Research Association states that nearly every medical breakthrough in the last 100 years has resulted directly from researching using animals. There is no adequate alternative to testing on a living whole body system. It does not provide the opportunity to study interrelated processes occurring in the central nervous system, endocrine system, and immune system. Animal researchers treat animals, animals humanely, both for the animal sake and to ensure reliable test results. Animal re research animals are cared for by veterinarians, specialists, and animal health technicians to ensure their well-being well -being and accurate findings. And again, that is from Procon.org. Today, I have refuted animals are not the best use of testing for scientific needs. Um, I said why animals are vital for, res for, vital for scientific research and what positive things animal testing has contributed to. Thank you. All right, well, the advocate's argument is barely mentioned. You just basically are giving a counterpoint on this issue. Um, so there's not any discussion of what evidence that they used, what claims they've made, and so it's a little bit hard to assess whether or not your claims respond to the issues that the advocate presented. Your secondary points, interestingly enough, are not really phrased as claims, they're phrased as questions. It sounds like an informative speech, why, why animals are vital and what it is that they have accomplished and produced. Uh, the you want declarative sentences for these sorts of things and make the argument that uh, animals are essential in order to get a particular uh, outcome and as animal research has produced particular uh, desirable outcomes, don't be shy about using those declarative sentences. You, you make it sound like it's an informative speech about animal research instead of an argument. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's a good explanation on the first point about why animal systems are uh, useful. Uh, you've got some data about the similarity of the um, systems that humans and animals have, that they have shared illnesses uh, between them, that they have complex uh, interdependent systems that are similar. And I thought that you drew a pretty good comparison there. Uh, you are post-citing the evidence on that particular point. That got a little confusing. You did cite the source prior to um, the evidence on the next point. 
Um, let me, we'll talk a little bit about ProCon.org in just a second, but uh, you did cite the source, so that's, that's the better way to do it, cite it before you present the evidence there. Uh, the California Biolo Biological Group, you also did the same sort of thing, so I thought that, that was helpful. That illustrates the point that you're talking about there pretty effectively. Like I said, there's no real discussion of what the advocates' arguments are, so it's hard to assess whether or not you refuted those particular points. This is all a rebuttal kind of argument at this point for the general proposition and not necessarily for the specific claims. Uh, and by the way, ProCon.org, Pro there's nothing wrong with that except that it's not really a source. It's an uh, aggregate site that collects information uh, about uh, arguments and... Uh, suggests possible uh, arguments, you know, talking points on those issues, but they are not advocates, they're not experts, and so you, you are basically, um, when, when you cite a source like that, uh, you're, you're basically citing somebody else's argument about the issue without them having any expertise on the subject. That there is information on those sites like that, and there are others, I don't know if we talked about this before, there's like opposing viewpoints and uh, uh, debate PD, Debatepedia and you know, uh, Debate.com and uh, a bunch of sites that do the same kind of thing. They give you the aggregate talking points, but you don't want to be citing those sources. You go to the original sources that they use. That's basically where you want to get your information from. All right, we'll stop there. Is there anybody else that still needs to speak?